If you did something wrong, don't let anybody take your mistake and use it against you. Even if it's a mistake, it belongs to you. It's yours. Own it. Yes, I did it. Throw it back in their face. And don't let them take your mistake. Your mistake, it's a valuable tool for growth and for life. There's another kind of instinct that you need to be on the lookout for. And this one is a liar. This one is a saboteur. Well, this one is a backbiter. And like the devil himself, he's a shapeshifter. He's going to disguise himself and make you think he's got your best interest in mind. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. It's better than to do nothing and learn nothing and not evolve. This is the instinct that says you've had enough. This is the instinct that says you've, you've, you've given it your best shot. You can, you can stand down. You can back off. You can take a knee. This is the instinct that says you can rest now. Do not listen to that instinct. Do not listen. That instinct is a liar and wants to bring you down. That's the instinct that's a defense mechanism. It wants to give you an out, a place to run to, a little, a little place of sympathy, an amnesty, a little place of amnesty where everything is forgiven. Where all these, these failures can gather together in comfort and drown their sorrows in lies and in deception. Your mistake is your greatest opportunity. And if somebody's making fun of you because you made a mistake, don't go down because of it. If you say, so what, to their face, if you say, yes, so what, it is my mistake, not yours. You, you have your own. Listen to me. Surround themselves with people who are on the same mission. How many people in your immediate environment, those people who are in your sacred circle, represent people who are on the same mission as you? Or do you have a bunch of people on your list who are not on the same mission as you and those individuals are pulling you down? I have cut off the people who are not on the same mission with me, and yes, they are very upset, and yes, they said some nasty things about me, but guess what, I cut them off anyway, and I've surrounded myself with people who have the same values, who have the same mindset, and people who want to accomplish what I want to accomplish. Every day in Africa, in the safari, a lion wakes up. Every single day in a safari, a lion wakes up, right? And, and every single day in the safari, a gazelle wakes up. It says that if you wake up and you're a gazelle, you realize if you're going to survive as a gazelle, if you're going to survive, you must outrun the slowest gazelle. In your mind, you're thinking you got to outrun the fastest line. That's not the truth. You just got to stay ahead of the slow gazelle. That's it. 
every single day when you wake up, whatever it is that you do professionally, you better make sure you're not in the back of the pack. You better be as close to the front, if not up front as possible, because every single day when the lion wakes up, it's only one thing on that lion's mind, and that is catching the gazelle that couldn't keep up. What the gazelle realizes is that the way it operates, that the way it performs, that the way it goes about its daily business is contingent upon life and death. That if that gazelle does not do what he or she is supposed to do, it will be eaten by a lion. Even if you are a lion, even if you are a lion and you have the advantage that when the sun comes up, if you are a gazelle or a lion, you better get to running. Because if you are a lion, a gazelle is still not going to come to you and say, just eat me. I don't care how deep you are as a lion. When you wake up, nothing is going to come to you. Nobody's going to give you anything. They're still not giving stuff to E.T. I still have to work. I still have to fly 20 hours to get to Australia. I still have to go to London. I still have to do free stuff in Detroit. I still have to drive. I'm a lion. And when the sun comes up, I still have to get to running. Here's the challenge though. I asked myself when I read that story, that's what's on the surface. I read it and I started asking myself, E.T., what's the difference between a gazelle and what's the difference between a lion? What's the difference? I know that they're wired differently, but what's the difference? And what I discovered is that the gazelle is running from something. The gazelle is running from something. So as long as the lion is chasing the gazelle, the gazelle is running. But as soon as the lion stops chasing the gazelle, it stops. That's a lot of you in this room. You will run, you'll do what you're supposed to do. As long as you're getting pushed, as long as you're getting motivated, as long as somebody is encouraging you, as long as somebody's coaching you, as long as somebody's pushing you, as long as somebody's prodding you, you're doing what you're supposed to do. As long as somebody's calling you, as long as someone is enticing you, as long as somebody's giving you rewards, you're moving. But as soon as that stops, you stop. I asked myself the question about the lion, and I said the lion is not running to be rewarded. The lion is running to eat. Every single day, the lion is running to eat because the lion realizes when he kills the gazelle, not only does he eat the gazelle, but he brings it back home. You've got to ask yourself, what's your why? What motivates you? What pushes you? What drives you? And if that thing is internal, if nobody has to call you, if nobody has to prod you, if nobody has to reward you, if nobody has to give you anything, if you are self-motivated and self-regulated, you can have it, you can be it, you can do it. You had that third failure in a row. Mm -hmm. Did you think, I need to pack this in? Never. Why not? I don't ever give up. I mean, I'd have to be dead or completely incapacitated. And they tell each other, and they'll tell you, you did the best you could. No, they'll say the deck, the deck, the deck was stacked against you. And they'll say, it's not your fault. And they'll tell you, it's okay to stop. It's okay to settle. It's okay to give up.
And that is the instinct you need to fight. You need to push back to smash into the ground. Do not take the easy way out. And you need to train that instinct. Your instinct. Train it to say, get up. Go. Fight on. And if that is what you become, if that becomes your fundamental reaction to adversity, if that becomes your gut instinct, then you will overcome just about anything that stands in your path.